That's not public, that's just a way for you to make more money off your fans. <gasps> I want her to see how happy I made my ex and how happy she made me. She is uncomfortable with you it. You don't know that. Yes, she is. No, you don't. Why are you talking to Grace? Now that I've gotten older, I've gone through all that and I've experienced that, so I'm like, I wouldn't want people to judge me now. Well, oh, I'm so emotionally damaged from my ex and she's got me on a string and no matter who I'm with, um, she can pull me back in. Are either of you guys being a little Hypocritical right now? Hypocrite? I can't even spell that word. I would suck my own dick <laughs> if I could. <laughs> what up, YouTube? What's going on, guys? Before we start the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Put on the post notifications because I'm choosing two lucky people to win 50 buckaroonies who comments within the first thousand comments. And every single one of these guys are also gonna give you guys. Two bucks. All right, guys, before we start this video, make sure to check out my Patreon and check out four exclusive questions from this video that I cannot leave in for Patreon. So go subscribe to that. These are some of the questions. I would date someone who has kids. Liking thirst traps is considered cheating. Porn is bad for you. I have to be making more money than my partner. They're pretty awesome. I cannot leave them in the video. So go check them out, go subscribe, and I appreciate it and love you. Yeah. It's okay to leave your ex's photos on social media while being in a new relationship. Three, two, one. Oh Fuck! Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm kind of conflicted I on I this one. Yeah. Actually, wait, I gotta switch it up. I'm thinking more about this. Ooh. Yeah. It's, wow. Yeah. I love Damn. it. Um, the reason I think so is because I feel like Instagram for me is like a diary in a way. It's like that's just part of like your history, like things that you've done and people you've experienced. So I don't think that's like a disrespectful thing at all. It's like, oh, that was the past me, but I'm choosing to go forward with you now. And like, I just feel like kind of strange like if I were to delete all that stuff. Wait, it still happened. I know this is my video, but I fucked <gasps> up. I, I, I meant to go to strongly <laughs> oh, <grief. laughs> oh. No worries, man. You were way off. <laughs> I was way off. Is it because we were influencing you? Yeah, no, no, I really, I, I'm all over the place today. Yeah, but yeah, I agree, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. I said strongly agree because I feel the same way. It's like a diary and it's like a, it's a timeline. So I have all my ex's photos. All Ooh. of them, huh? All, all of them? them? All well, I just never lot. deleted them. Which one does Grace look at the most? And it's like, come on. Do you guys not know how fucking <gasps> diaries work? What? It's pretty private, you know? Oh. Oh, oh, this guy. I have a public, like, it's pr like, we're influencers, you have a public. public. Yeah, well, it's not your diary. That's not public, that's just a way for you to make more money off your fans. <gasps> Yeah, I have a feeling, here's it's not what the I think. social relationship. I think you guys as influencers, your most liked photos are with a couple photos. I know for David that's true. I know for Zach that's true too. Hey, watch your mouth. Yeah, and so I think you guys just don't want to lose the uh, algorithm and all the uh, explore oh, wow. page. That's, that's, a that. that's a hot take. I mean, you can also always burn a diary. Like, fuck that diary. Why do you disagree? Why do, I just, why do you think we should? Why do you strongly him? disagree? I think it's disrespectful to your future relationship, and I think it just like shows a sign of like attachment to your past if you're not ready to move forward. Wait, can I can I just ask? Do you guys do it because you guys don't want new girls to think you're still in a relationship? So that's a part of it. When I was in, so you're just trying to get. Oh, well, that's you, definitely a first, you're trying to get laid. first step to it, yeah. I see this all the time where like a girl like like a hundred of my photos, I'll go to her profile and like the last picture is like a wedding photo. I'm like, all right, that's like a little sus. And with that, you're like, I don't know, maybe they broke up, maybe they didn't, it's a little bit weird. So I think the first step is like sending the signal of like you've moved on. But then at that point, why would I like, why would I put it back up? That's like, well, that's even well, weirder. I'm so emotionally damaged from my ex and she's got me on a string. And no matter who I'm with, um, she can pull me back in. So might as well just keep them up anyway. Yeah. Well, that, and that, then, that, that's the thing, though, is you're giving false hope that it's going to come back. Oh, it's coming back, you know? Uh, and then, right, and right. then people go like, oh, they've been dating for so long, even though we've broken up like eight times. Zach's new comedy, by the way, is just being really honest about his situation. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a joke. It's just a self-deprecating. That is a joke. totally real. That's an LOL. Well, dude, All right, my, about, let, me yeah. take, let me give you my take. I think competition breeds greatness, okay? I'm thinking, like, from my perspective, oh. like, if I get with a girl, right, and I see her ex on, his, on her page, I want to be like, well, I got to be better than him. I gotta know what he looks like so I can out-compete him. I can be better than him. Also, for her, I want her to see how happy I made my ex and how happy she made me. So she's like, oh my God, look how happy his ex made him. I have to make him 10 times more happy. The reason I'm at agree and not strongly agree, if, if it made her uncomfortable, I would definitely take it down. But if she had him up, it wouldn't make me uncomfortable. Again, I, I always thought of it as like a timeline system. Mm -hmm. And Maybe. you know, it's like, oh, this was this part of my life. But I'm not thinking of it as, oh, this is when I was with my ex and it was this thing. Like, I, I don't know. I just, that's how I feel. Okay, let's say you had some frame photos of you and your ex up in your house. <laughs> you gonna leave those fucking photos like, up? Is your bedside no. photo gonna be you and your ex? No, your I Instagram mean, is not like 
It's not is, different is your than your That's way photo. different. That's, that's, I think that's different. That's way farther. It's like, like having, it's like having a Michael Jordan poster in your bedroom. Yeah, it's like, a shrine harder, first off. You know? Yeah. So. This is my love life, not my career. I don't give a fuck about the competition. Also, I think, you know, us leaving our photos also means when you put up a girlfriend or someone up on your timeline, it just means more like, wow, I really love this person. You guys are just deleting fucking old photos all the time. You don't really care about those girls. Well, here's what we I think. We do. Yeah, we care about those girls. Partners, partners. Yeah. I yeah. think of it as a lifetime dating show. You know, they, it's, it's the bachelor of my life and you get to see who lost. And That's this good. is the winner right now. Yeah, for me, I have ADHD. And that makes them feel if there's good. no like evidence of these people in my life, I'll forget they existed. And then you'll date them again. <laughs> literally same, literally same. So I, have to I forget I forget everything. Yeah. The way I see is if I broke up with someone, like you did something really fucking bad, or you did me dirty, and I don't want to remember that past. Here's the thing for me, if I'm with someone new and they're one percent uncomfortable with it. Maybe they don't tell you, but you can just assume that probably every new partner's one percent uncomfortable at least with the old photos. That's worth more to me to make her not uncomfortable with it than leaving old photos up for my own ego or for my own diary sake or whatever. I'd so rather you don't not... ask her if she's uncomfortable. <laughs> or you do you don't have to, don't have and to hear the after answer. that. Well, yeah, but that's not the question. Like, if, if, if Grace was uncomfortable, I'd delete. I don't give a f you know. But... Or him, right, Manny? She is right, uncomfortable with you it. You don't know that. What? Yes, she is. No, you don't. Or him, yeah. Why or are you him. talking to Grace? Well, this or is the him. problem with your videos, David. You create little vacuums of all men, you know? Yeah, thank God I'm gay. Yeah, they call him the Dyson. <laughs> Wait, Manny, man, I have a question. Like, Wait, since when, Manny? Yeah, what? If, you, if you're going through a guy that you're interested in and you see guys on there, how do you know whether or not they date it? Isn't it a little harder? I don't, that makes it like more, it's more like FBI. Really? You have to really dig, yeah. Oh, you want to dig? I do, I kind of like the investigation of it. So you want someone to delete their shit or like leave little breadcrumbs so you have to do the work? Yeah, oh, okay. it makes it more like, it's like a, not that it's a game, but it makes it, I feel like, more fascinating to like try to get to understand someone. I feel like for me, the biggest thing was when I did leave it up, I was giving myself false hope and my ex false hope, like it was gonna work out. Mm. Like that was why I left it up. Yeah. So I'm assuming like, if I'm with someone else, that's saying, hey, I'm giving false hope that it's gonna work out with my ex and once they're back, you're gone. I think that's a great answer. Like, if, if I was in the same mindset of trying to have that hope for both of us, like I could see why I'd be over there as well. Yeah. Um, I'm just, I just wasn't thinking about it. Like me, like me as an ex, if I'm going and stalking and she still has our photos up, I'm like, there's still a chance. But if your ex is telling her new friends, like, yeah, I used to date this guy, he was great, and there's no proof, I mean, she can't show them. You know, unless there's pictures of you on your gram, where you're like, look, see, he's real, I dated him. There's could proof. You, could you imagine going your to your roll? friends and going, Hey, yeah, I dated this guy, and then they're like, show me a photo, and you're like, well, I deleted him, and they go, you fucking lying bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what type of friends are those? I date a lot of liars. <laughs> yeah, that's what it Do is. you guys mind if the girl has it still up? Like if it was years ago, and like I like scroll down, and there's photos with your ex from four years ago, like I don't care. It also depends like if they're posting me yet or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Like yeah. if they're like posting you all the time, and they still have old ones up, I'm not gonna love it, but like, yeah. it is what it is. All right, does anybody want to change their answers? If so, please do now. I think I'd change. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Okay, I moved over here because for the most part, I'm just agree. I'm like, yeah, you can leave them up, but if anyone ever felt uncomfortable, I'd delete them. I think for that exact reason is why I was neutral. It's like, either way, I, it doesn't matter yeah. to me. If yeah. it affects you, I'll change it, um, but let's have a conversation. As long as we can get head, you know? It's all good. As long as you can get head? Just get head. You know? Right, Manny? Yeah. 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 yeah, you know, honestly, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I'll take a partner less seriously after a one night stand. Three, two, one. Hunter's a bigot. Ooh. Um, I feel bad, but it's Yeah, true. I guess I gotta go strong with this one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Manny, let's start with you. I dude. think I'm confused. Okay, so I, I think that like if I were to go into something and I just like want to hook up with him, if we hook up too early on, I'm not really that interested in pursuing anything more. And I think almost like, I feel like in a way, I feel like I've like conquered it or like some type of like weird thing in my head where it's like, oh, okay, well that was fun and I'm gonna date someone else instead. You just like the chase. Yeah, I think so. Wait, do you mean- If, if, it's, a, if it's a hookup in the beginning, like if I'm going yeah. into it, like as I'm hooking up, like a potential, like, oh, okay, well, that was, my mindset goes to like hookup mode. It doesn't go to like, I'm gonna date you mode. Does one night stand in this situation mean just like smash on the first night? Or like one night stand is that, like technically that, like you never talk to him again. That's a good, so the question was like a little bit confusing because if it's a one night stand, then it can't be I'm never talking, right. we're not in a relationship. It was a fucking one night stand. No, I think you sleep, sleep with them on the first yeah, like yeah. day you meet him. So yeah, it, no. yeah, I guess that's So that's three. one night stand? 
No, because the one night stand implies that you don't talk to them again. This is more like the question is if you sleep with someone the first day you meet them or like after one date, do you have the same respect for them yeah. afterwards or can you see a potential future with that That's person? what I meant when I wrote, oh. wrote it down. So I put, I might have to move over a little bit. Kind of disagree because I, I was like, well, yeah, if they never talk to me again, I don't have as much respect for someone that would talk to me again, but it's, I don't care that we slept on the first night. What if it's the other way? What if it's the, do you, do you come here? If it's not a one night stand, if it's just dating? Oh yeah, then I'm going over there. Yeah. I don't, I don't care if we sleep together on the first night. All my relationships started that way. Yeah. Oh, work. All right, yeah. brag. Um, work diva. <laughs> yeah. All right. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. It's like, hey, I got to see your areolas. Good job on those. Yeah. Like I always go, yeah. nice job on those. Yeah, give her those buttons. And if she's yeah. still there after that, Nice. She could be the one, you know? Nice. After tuning the radio, you never yeah. know. Yeah. I usually don't sleep with people on the first date. So like, if it does happen, that usually means there was some kind of special connection where I wanted to, was still down to do that and see them again. So yeah, hook up on the first night, it's probably a pretty good reason. I'm also a strong believer at love at first sight. You know. I know, with, I know within like three minutes of being with someone, it's not necessarily whether I'm in love with them, but I know whether I'm not in love with them. Right. But within three minutes, they'd be like, I could date this person. I like, I, I know instantly. Yeah, I've also known instantly, and then I've also been wrong a ton. Mm. Um, do, you think, do you think guys know more suddenly than girls do? Know what? Like, if, if they're if they're match. potential of dating someone? Yeah, I mean, I just think, like, I mean, I don't, I don't know, in, like, if in the, in the gay culture, but in the straight heterosexual culture, I just see, like, girls get hooted and hollered at all day and all night. So, like, I just think it's, like, less I didn't know guys. it was bad till last week. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, was but I, mean, I just hollering. feel like there's less opportunity. So I think like when you know, you're like, holy fuck, like I yeah. know. Like yeah. I know. Or, or, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's the inverse for girls. I don't know. I think girls are probably, I think they're just, they're smarter. So I think they know. Yeah. And they know more what they don't like. I think guys generally don't know what they like. But I'm at disagree because um, I don't get laid that often. So Grace. I don't really have, no one really fucks me on the first <laughs> night, you know? Um, but when they do, uh, I do fall in love with them. No, no. Um, <laughs> I, no, I just think they, that just lets me know they really like me. Yeah. So they're a little bit more keepers, you know? Yeah. Versus yeah. Uh, someone who waits months and then they figure out that I probably hit a million subs and then that probably turns them on to like possibly a one night stand, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. yeah. But, Did yeah. million subs make you hard for David? Like that? 100%. I've been hard for David for a long time. Clip that. <laughs> It's someone. not Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, someone clipped that right now. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at strongly disagree just because I've also been, like my relationships have been after sleeping on, together on the first night. And then there are people who make you wait, you know? And which is, I think, totally respectable. Wait till you know if you like the person. But then there's been plenty of situations where we waited and we both realized we weren't really into each other, right? Because a lot of guys will stick around until you have sex with them. I think it's fine to wait. I think you should wait until you're comfortable. It really is about a connection. Like, do you want to spend your mornings with this person and your evenings with this person? And whether or not you sleep together on the first date doesn't affect that. Yeah. I also do like what you said earlier where about like the chase, which is why I'm not like, I'd strongly disagree. Not that like, if we have sex on the first night, there's like the chase is gone, but I personally like waiting, like you said, like kind of get to know someone. Yeah. So. Honestly, also you could, you could <clears throat> kind of blow it for yourself if you think like, I want sex on the first night and like we really push for it and it happens and like we don't have sexual chemistry, but I would have loved all these other things about you had we had more time to get to know True. each other. You just blew it, because if it's a bad f <gasps> it's not yeah. gonna go and long I'm pretty term. funny in bed too, so if you don't know me and I'm You're hilarious jokes, in bed. You know? Yeah. Like, well, what's like a- no, he's, he's so funny in bed. You're pretty much only funny in bed. He's so funny in bed. I'm only funny in <laughs> <laughs> What do you whisper in Grace's ear usually? Did you come? And, and, I'm, and did she? And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that was the best two minutes of my life. That I'll get you next time. Can you time, feel it? <laughs> I got you next time. It's in. She goes, is it in? <laughs> hey, man. Um, I'm also at the point, like, I'm 30. I definitely had plenty. Yeah. Of, yeah, I'm 30. All right, yeah. I'm 30, I don't have time to waste. In my early 20s, like I probably would have wasted six months on a girl and been like, wow, I actually fucking hate you. This is terrible. And I think like the quicker I can learn whether it'll you work or tell her that? Just in bed. No, I didn't. Yeah, she, he whispers in his ear. That's what I whisper. He just whispers in Grace's ear. Um, what? As no. a guy, you're like, I, I don't want to waste any time. All I have is another 15 years to start a family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's just, I mean, I, that's, that's my end goal. It's like I'm dating and fucking. <laughs> for the, the end goal of a relationship. So I'd rather, like, if I can find out that we're not compatible on the first night by having terrible sex or whatever it is, then cool. You guys ever had sex, like bad sex, and you go, okay, this? No, actually never. And said what? And like, okay, you know what? This isn't gonna work out because 
we're just not sexually compatible. Yeah. I usually try to chalk yes. it up to something else. Like, we should try to give it a redo, right? I give them the benefit of the doubt. I know it wasn't me. So something must have been going on with you. Maybe it was a bad day. Maybe I've it was also, Mercury's and Gatorade. I've also, <laughs> definitely, I've also definitely had people that, like, it is, like, your sex gets better once you get comfortable with someone. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, it gets, you're, you're like, wow, our sex is ten times better than that first night. So it is kind of unfair to judge on the very, very first I'm the year. opposite. I normally cap the first night. Like, that's the best you'll ever get. It's yeah, like a that makes sense. I agree with you. It's like high. a parabola, you know? Yeah. It, like, starts a little low, <laughs> and then, like, uh, six to a year in, six months to yeah. a year, and it's, like, amazing. And then all of a sudden, it's like... She's losing the remote a lot. <laughs> you're like, and you're thinking about it during. You're like, yeah, like how yeah. the fuck I, you know. How am I supposed to watch House of the Dragon? Right. <laughs> All right. Does anybody want to change their answers? If so, do now. I do. I was, I was confused. Go to strongly I was, agree. I, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah just, actually, I'm like around spots. here. You just sprint. I'm now I'm in the middle. Now I'm neutral. I think it's different. That my perspective might be a little bit different because I'm dating gay men, and a lot of men are in it for like very specific reasons, especially in the in the gay community, there's a lot of guys that literally are trying to date just to have sex. So I tend to, if you're trying to do that too early, I tend to lose a little bit like, whoa, like calm down. Do you, do you have sex with a lot of guys like right away? Cause I don't. I know. Mm -mm. Trying to connect. Yeah, I want to connect. I think straight yeah. men could take notes from gay men about how to be honest about what they want in a relationship. I think straight I men should anymore. have sex with gay men. So they... to experience something <laughs> different. I yeah. have been saying that for so long. Put on a shirt. Clip that. <laughs> if my partner asked, I would be open to having a threesome. Three, two, one. Wait, where's agree again? The agree is this way. That's disgusting. No. Wait. This is agree. Oh, yeah. It's this split? Really? It's pretty surprising. Yeah. I'm strongly agree because duh. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we got two does. I'm gonna work it back a little bit. I would say agree, but also I I don't know. I'm like in a relationship, I would just feel like it's a trap, and I just oh yeah, you know, it's just like even if she was super oh, into yeah. it, <laughs> it's like, a oh, loaded question. I, I don't know. Like if I give someone more attention than like I'm in the doghouse, I'm happy like with you know with what I got. So I wouldn't risk it. But if I was single, even then, I yes, 100 percent. But taken and stuff, I'd be more like I don't know. It's kind yeah. of scary. There's a I'm lot of boobs. Uh. <laughs> There's too many boobs now. I barely have enough focus and attention for one person. Someone's gonna left, be left upset. So if it's like a real relationship, it's probably strongly no. Yeah. But if this is just like, meet a couple of girls on the first night and they just like really, really, really want this, then that's your mistake to make. Wait, but it wasn't specified <laughs> what kind of threesome this is yeah. or was. Well, we're not doing it. It's not like the person's not coming from behind a <gasps> mystery door. You know? <laughs> well, so they you'll, know, you'll know going into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah but what if the girl goes, good. guy and girl. Sorry, sorry. Let's do it with the guy. I, it's not for me because I don't like seeing my partners with other men. Like, that's just never been a thing. I know some guys are comfortable with it. More power to you. Like, I think a lot of straight guys have brought that conversation up and the girl goes, well, what if we brought a, a guy and would you want that? And I go, no. So you don't have to say yes to the other thing I asked for. Like, I always say, yeah, you know, I you would, want. but... You'd hate it, cause I'm a guy's guy. Me and that guy are gonna connect. We're gonna become right. best friends. We might forget about you. Yeah. You know? Work. I'll be making yeah. him laugh. Work, work, work. You know? Like it, you're more. I mean, is it conceptually hot? I'd say yes, a little tapatio is, is, is how I'd label that sex, you know? Mm. Um, but for me personally, if I'm having sex with someone, that and that's my partner, that's the most intimate interaction we can have together. Like that's the most time we're just by ourselves, the world's kind of out of it. And I just don't want to bring anyone else into that to know, like, like that's, that's, that's no, like I, beautiful. I, I take your time. Yeah. Who you are mean? you trying to meet with these answers? Like, what, do you, what, what perception are you trying to give the world right now? <laughs> I, I'm so curious, too. I, I mean, that's just that how I ex? feel. Is that ex? He made it pretty clear about his ex. Yeah. That was it. a I joke. Can we bring up his ex one more time? <laughs> it just feels like all these videos is just that. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> Um, the reason I'm saying agree is because I feel like in the beginning I wouldn't be down of a relationship, but then as like years passed, I think I'd be more open to it like later on, like maybe like 10, 20 years down the line. Just sure, spice like a things one, up? Just spice things up. Like just mm. like a one night stand, sure. But in the beginning I wouldn't be down, which is why I'm in agree, but eventually like I would be. Would you, would you get mad if your partner like suggested that when you like, or would you beginning? have to suggest that? No, I wouldn't, I mean, honestly, I don't think I'd be mad if we had been together for a long time, just like spice things up. Mm, okay. Like, I don't mind that. Um, but I think in the beginning, it's like, it needs to be all about me. The beginning. Yeah, no, I, I get In the that. beginning, like I want it to be about me. Yeah. 
And then in the future, maybe like years down the line, sure, it's like a, could be a fun thing, but as long as we're together doing it. First, I like focusing on my partner, but I also want to meet her friends. <laughs> Of Can we go and meet her friends? Yeah. Of course yeah. you do. Can we go and meet her friends? Or, or her mom. I feel like that would be <laughs> yeah. the, like if we were to do it, it would have to be like a total stranger. Like I feel like that would be even way more difficult. Like if it was like yeah. one of the friends of the group, I feel like that would be like No, you gotta go stranger. That would just sure. like implode. When you've seen Claire's clit, it's like you know too much about Claire. Mm. I really do hope that you Claire's know clit. a girl named Claire <laughs> just for this bit. Claire's clit. I like that. She um Claire's She's doing good. Nice. Nice it has it. a nice ring to it. So is her clit. Thank you. Phonetically, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Well, I agree, clit, personally. I mean, I've been proposed this question before yeah. a handful of times. So, like, yeah, it could go bad. It could be a trap. It could. Wait, cause you had some a threesome? Problems. Yeah, I've had threesomes. Dude, right? Everybody, high fives. Oh! I Wait, raise your hand if you had. Who has a, had a threesome? Yeah, who's had a threesome? I don't know if I. Do we have to put this in the video? Yes. It's a little revealing. But I think they're great, but they also could be right. They could be bad for a relationship. They could be good for a relationship. You also don't have to be in a relationship to do them. You know what I mean? Totally. Maybe that's the hack. True. So that there's no like residual. I've never been in, in a relationship when I did them. The times yeah. I've done it have not been in a relationship. No strings attached. No one can get mad at you. It's just fun. Yeah. You know? How do you go about like the amount of time you give each one? It's just gotta flow. You gotta pick the right person. It's gotta be your time is right. Everything's gotta be right. You, you don't set up like a, like a time like Siri, time it for two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like an just, interval. It's system? like you know, have you seen like yeah, Bobby, it's like the guy playing chess. Yeah. yeah, it's like that. When you're done with one, you hit the clock, and then yeah, yeah. yeah I, don't, I only have sex to the Queen's Gambit nice. exclusively. So I also feel like if I had sex with two people, <clears throat> it becomes a crowd, and then at that point, I'm just trying to do stand up to them. You know, yeah. that's what I care about: yeah. making women laugh. Versus... I think my ideal threesome would be me and one person having sex, and then a professional chef in the room who's like mm. coming around and putting food in our mouth, like a yeah. little tasting. That's yeah. beautiful. Mm. Like a Somali wow. wine. Yeah, that'd be nice. But wow. the chef has to be wearing something sexy too, but also an apron for just you know, sanitary. You Hunter's reasons. a chef. I'm a chef. Bro. I'll do it for you. Yeah? yeah. You gotta do Fogwa? New show, say yes to the chef. Who's down? <laughs> yeah. like, <laughs> but you strictly can only serve dick-shaped foods. Yeah. Literally, that's so easy. Only phallic. <laughs> <laughs> Almost all it's food is now. naturally <laughs> dick-shaped anyway. It's just or we pastrami. make it undick-shaped. Or pastrami. Or pastrami, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. I'll, 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 I'll I'm do good it. on that, actually. Yeah. All right, would anyone like to change their answer? Somebody's body count might be a deal breaker for me. Ooh. Three, two, one. Mm. Damn, this is a tough mm. one. Mm. <laughs> Euro step over here. I'm pretty liberal, but I feel like I got some good reasoning though. For me, it's not about necessarily the number, even if it's 145, but what comes with that many people to connect with that many people. I think like you might be a little bit jaded to connection. And that's what I'm afraid of. It's like you going through so many connections that it's hard for us to make one now, even if you hooked up 200 people or also what if it's zero? That's also a number. It's not too high, but it could mess up with things in the way. So it's That's not fair. that like the initial, like the specific number could mess it up. The effects of those numbers. Or it's just one guy, and it's like the guy she was with for like eight years, and you're like, damn. Yeah. I'd rather be with someone who has 145 than zero, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, 100. Yeah, yeah. It, it's same. Yeah, maybe. So for me, it's more like it, like it's, let's say it's 150. That's totally fine. But it's like let's say it's 150 people that only live in Hollywood, and we live in Hollywood, and I'm like. Fuck, I, I gotta see them all the time. Everywhere I go, every person I meet, I have to be like, you, that, them too? Okay. Because you know Todd and Scott are gonna be some of them. Right. Oh, yeah, easily. Friends, you know? oh, yeah. yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are either of you guys being a little hypocritical right now? No. Psh, no way. <laughs> never. <laughs> Hypocrite. I can't even spell that a word. A gentleman never kisses and tells. That's right. So your body counts are both pretty low. Yeah, say definitely sub, like sub under 10. 10 sub, yeah. I would say. It's probably relative to you. I don't know. Should we line up who we think? the most to least is? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want to be in that lineup. He goes, he goes, uh, I'd be in the next thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah I would say strongly disagree, just because I've, I've never cared about stuff like that. Even when I was younger, I, I just think like, I've hooked up with women that were like super sexual and they had a bunch of partners and I think that made things more fun for me. You know, they taught me a bunch of stuff when I was younger. I dated older women. Whatever. What's the oldest when you were the youngest? Like, what was the biggest Ooh. age difference? Uh, I hooked up with a 37-year-old when I was 20. I miss calling you stepdad. Like, that was a great part of my life. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, but whatever. I've had girls who, like, lied about their numbers before. And what? Then, 
How'd you then, find out? Because, you know, they'll be like, yeah, I've only had sex with like three guys. And then like you're dating them and then you meet three of them. You, <laughs> meet, you meet eight of them. Wait. You said three. You, this is like four now. Oh, but it's daylight savings time. You got to add another one. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. And All then they, you know, I told them it doesn't really matter to me. And then they finally open up and never cared. Yeah, it doesn't fully bother me. I, I think all I am over there is also the virgin thing. I don't. I yeah, just, that was a good point. I know. There's just a lot of. That's what I was thinking of. It's just a lot of. That's ruined stuff for me. I've been with people who have like one partner, and it's like it wasn't eight years. It wasn't that much practice, and it was just like, yeah, it just was a roadblock. And I feel like psychologically, you're yeah. always there first, so that attaches you to them for life, even if you don't feel fully the same way. Oh, there's um, there's no doubt. Yeah, so that's why it's a little scary if they never have. That's why I'm not fully. But if you do meet like a real virgin, that's a lot of good blood for spells. That's oh, yeah. true. <laughs> mm. I've been laughing. I take their tampons and sell them on the street as Otter Pops to vampires. Jesus Christ. <laughs> otter Pops. I was making a, a joke. Well, yeah, but you know what happens. You, 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 I can't you open the door for that. Yeah, you open the door and he fucking yeah. wow. runs in. Um, Sorry I, you guys don't care about business. Yeah, I personally, I don't, I don't care at all. I've, I've, it doesn't matter to me one bit. Same, I, I, I don't care because I've lived many lives. Yeah. Especially when I was younger, like I was so much, like I was, I have a high number because yeah. of when I was younger, just experimenting. Now that I've gotten older, I've gone through all that and I've experienced that. So I'm like, I wouldn't want people to judge me now based yeah. off of my number from when I was 10 years ago. Do you course. think you can bench more weight than your number? No. Nice. Can you bench a lot though? Yeah. What can you bench? Decently. What's like your max? What's uh, your max? <laughs> no. One rep. I'm trying to think. One rep. <laughs> Why is he I'm trying to give you one rep. Like, like, well, what can rep? you bench? What's your max rep? No, like that. Is you get two two plays on each side. Two seventy five. No, I can't do two forty fives. I can do like a forty five and like a twenty five. Oh, twenty eight five. Oh, so honestly, it's like around that. Oh, okay, that's perfect. It's around that. You got to get your PR up so you can get <laughs> more people. <laughs> I'm working on. It's just holding you back. <laughs> because, yeah, I was thinking about juicing just so I could f some more people. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you guys call it? Juicing. Yeah, when you get it or milking or whatever it's called. Milking. Where, where are you yeah, that's the thing. Is it? Milking, yeah. It's absolutely. milking, but it's for all of us. It's not just. It's, yeah, it's not just the gays. Yeah, we can all milk. Or get milked. Yeah. Got milk. Ooh. Wait, Christian, you what's, see... your, what's your max PR on bench? Oh, I haven't PR'd on bench in a while, but probably right around 315. <laughs> right <back>. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he just got, he goes, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so that threesome question we had earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Would anyone like to change their answer? No. I would suck my own dick if I could. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Are you joking? Fuck. I don't think it would. <laughs> Let me explain. Oh, yeah. Well, I just want to say I, I'm at agree because I feel like we've all tried it. We've all tried we've it. All we've all tried, tried it. it. We've all, all right? tried but it. But <laughs> we, none of us have been able to do it. Right? Well, which means until he just didn't now. like it. So that's why he's over there. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel like uh, all of us have tried it. None of us have been able to accomplish it. Maybe because we weren't flexible enough, our dick was too small. But if I could say, yeah, I could suck my own dick, I'd feel cooler than you guys. And do you think why. you'd be able to get yourself off? I wouldn't do that. No, that's it's like because I wouldn't do like, that. Trust it's me. like trying to tickle yourself, you know? <laughs> it's gonna be a little trickier. But also, if I could give myself a great hand job, I'd probably give myself a great blow job too. Yeah, but you don't have a dick in your mouth. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> it's really not that bad. <laughs> yeah. My perspective. My problem is, is I don't think it would be that bad. My problem is that I would get so good at it. That yeah. I, you get addicted to it. You're like someone else needs to see the talent. Addicted. You're yeah, the, I would just become a perfectionist. And then look, I couldn't be in like a healthy relationship because like I'd be the best head giver I'd ever had. You know True. what I mean? Like that doesn't lay a good foundation. For romantic relationships. It's true. Partner, I feel like you know I mean? women probably aren't good at hand jobs. I feel like I'm I'm great. Pretty good, yeah. So I would compare, you know, girls' hand jobs to myself. So if I started comparing their blow jobs to my blow job, yeah. I don't know if they'd be able to compete. They just need to start doing more pull-ups, get a couple more calluses on those hands so right. it lines up with what ours feel like. Right. Yeah. You know? <laughs> a bro job, if you will. Yeah, yeah. a bro job. A bro I, like job. A bro I like job. to imagine Christian getting so good at sucking his own dick that yeah. midway through he goes, who's a good little boy? Looks up, spits directly in the air, catches in his own mouth, says, I am, and goes back to sucking his dick. <laughs> that is what, ha what, what, what happened. He surgically yeah. has all his teeth removed, so he can only <laughs> give gummy bears from yeah. here on out. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think if I ever got even like close enough or like I touched the tip with my lips, that a portal would open up in the room and me from the future would come through and be like, don't do it. <laughs> you don't want this, man. We did it. It's totally don't not do it. It's like, really healthy It gets bad. You know? it's, the, <laughs> it's the bullet train meme of you like trying to break in. It's like, if I could go back. Yeah, exactly. Time, it's it's Dewey Cox trying Coke for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't also, remember it, like telling you guys my dream from last night. That's, this is strange mm, that you this, guys. Mm. Is this are it? you having deja vu? I'm having, yeah, this is crazy. The, and, the, or are you the having deja vu? Yeah, yeah. Deja vu. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, deja vu. Is anyone else not weirded out that we have the star of the bear here with us, by the way? <laughs> I don't know what that is. That was a good one. Jeremy Allen White from Shameless. Oh, yeah. You get I that a lot? Lip, Lip Gallagher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yes. I do get that a lot. It's fucking crazy. You just want an award. He also can't suck his own dick. He's, Did you I think, think of that com- because we're having this conversation? You're like, why am I weirdly attracted to Brad? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lip Gallagher. I love the bear. I just, I think that would be so, like, it'd be a party trick to me. What? Like, you if I was at, at a gay party, <laughs> like, you guys look like I can suck my own dick. There are people who do that at parties. You. Every time I tried jacking off at a party, I got in trouble. Actually, but I've never been to parties, one of your though. parties. Different kind of parties. If you said, like, in the invite, we'll be sucking my own dick. I'm like, I gotta I think change some go. stuff around. Well, I, I mean, like, I just think that it would be such a fascinating idea. Like, obviously, as a gay person, I enjoy doing it. So I just would want to see how I have done it on someone else. Would you swallow or spit your own? I don't know. Okay. Wait, guys, if you suck your own dick, is that 69? I think it's just uh, nine or just six. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's six really curled over. <laughs> yeah. It's an eight. It's six yeah. written with a left hand. Oh, left hand is six. <laughs> I'd be very fascinated to know how I was doing on someone else. Who do you think would suck the best dick from here? Me? Yeah, probably. No, no, but from you guys. Yeah. Mm. Really? Zach? <laughs> yeah. Because I put in no effort. No fucking way, dude. I'm intentional. You fucking liar. <laughs> I'm lying. It's you for sure. I'm He's got great hand eye coordination. <laughs> for it sure, you. I'm sorry. You're just, you're just a sorry, giver, you know? I'm a giver. I know. Yeah. And I, 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 uh. And I'm a taker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clip <hurt>. that. <laughs> David, it's not Twitch. <laughs> you're so mad that he didn't say you, loser. No, I'm not mad about it. I just think it's fucking bullshit. He's just not getting a dick sucked <laughs> by me. All right, let's do this, boy. I'm not mad. Find out <laughs> oh, I love being the only gay. All right, would anybody want to switch spots? Oh, I'm pretty confident. Yeah. Once again, I'd only, I want to say, I'd only do it once, to twice, finish, maybe to, three times. That's finish. what you say now. Finish. That's yeah. how it always starts. To get good at it. That's what I'm saying. How do you guys feel after that, huh? Is that I feel pretty good. insightful. Yeah. So insightful. I can't believe I'm on a YouTube page that has a million subscribers. That's yeah, oh. congratulations to David again. Uh, well, uh, make sure to check out everyone's channel. Go support them, and uh, we'll see you next time. I don't need support. Sorry about whatever, nice. everything Zach said, by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I just hit a million subs. Yay! Woo! Good job. Whoa, oh, what? Not- <gasps> How cute! Whoa, I did not know about this. Man, now I can't oh. cut this out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing retention now! <laughs> Woo. Uh, wow. wow! You did that on the back of us. Well, thank you uh, to my amazing producer, Jill, for planning this. This is all fun time. Fun time! <laughs> Go check out fun time, guys. They're awesome.